A little introduction on the centrifuge here. So this is a nice centrifuge. This is what you will find in the lab. And there are a few controls over here. One control over here is for the number of rotations per second. Here is for the time. And this one is if you want to stop in the middle. Sometimes you also can press this one in case you just want to spin something for 20 seconds. Then just hold this one down for 20 seconds instead of setting the timer. So that's how you would use these controls here. Usually for the uh, spinning, you can have it about two or three, and that's usually fine. It's enough for our experiments. And for the minutes, you will generally need one minute of spin, okay, for the experiments that we're doing. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, I'm just going to use this one. Okay, let me show you the inside of uh, a centrifuge. So you can see there is a hole in here so that you can actually see inside to see if the spinning is stopped or not. <clears throat> and then here, this is the... Uh, the little latch that you need in order to open up the centrifuge. So this is what a centrifuge looks like and you will have test tube holders in there. Now please remember in some cases you may just have holes okay like this in a centrifuge and we do not place test tubes in here okay so there's no way that you can place a test tube in here okay so please make sure that you have a test tube holder in one of these uh, test tube spots okay to hold your test tube. When you do an experiment with a centrifuge, you want to make sure that you that your test tube will actually fit inside this test tube holder because if it doesn't, then obviously you cannot use the centrifuge. So that's how it should be, okay? And then when you're ready to use your centrifuge, you will need at least two test tubes. So either you have the two test tubes or you find somebody else who's ready to use the centrifuge. And you will place the centrifuge tubes on the opposite sides so let me fill up my test tubes and I will be right back. So my two test tubes now are equal in amount and that's how they should be when you're putting anything inside the centrifuge. They should be equal in volume so that when you spin them in the centrifuge, they don't have unequal force. So then you go ahead and put your test tubes on absolutely the opposite sides. So one over here and then one on this side to balance the centrifuge, okay? And that's how you need to. And again, remember, do not put your test tube in that kind of a hole, okay? That will lead to breakage and then you'll have to clean up and I am not interested in cleaning up. So you will have to do that yourself and also it can be dangerous, all right? So please be careful. Place the test tubes on the opposite sides, close the lid, put the latch on, make sure it's closed. And then you can go ahead and start the spinning. You can sometimes hear it also. And you can count if you want to 30 seconds or whatever it is. And then once you let go, it's going to stop. And then you wait for it to stop spinning before you take your test tubes out. So you can either see it from the hole here, whether it's still spinning or not. Or what you can also do is you can take a little peek from here. And if it's still spinning, just put it down and wait for it to stop spinning. Do not use your hands to stop the spinning or you will hurt yourself. So let's just wait for a second and it's still spinning and we'll wait. You can leave it open if you want. It's not gonna jump out at you. It's just that it's not stopped yet and we'll wait. And we'll wait just a little bit more, okay, for it to come to a complete stop. And now we can take our test tubes out, okay? And so then if the both of them belong to you, take yours out. If not, then whoever else is working on it can take theirs out too. Okay, once you're done, close the lid and you're done.